What's up my friends? Today I will show you two ways on how to put text behind a moving object. So the first way is for the free version of DaVinci Resolve and we are going basically to draw a mask uh, with our hand and the second way is you are going to use the magic mask tool in DaVinci Resolve studio version. So for the best result of this text effect, you want to use a video with different layers. So for example, right here, you see these rocks of the mountains. So this is our first layer of the video. Then we have some clouds, that's the second layer. We have a big mountain up here, the third layer. We have some mountains in the back and we have the sky. So you have different layers in your video. So now I will show you the first option using the mask tool in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. You don't want to have a video clip that is moving too fast. So let's start. Click on the video clip and then you want to duplicate this video clip. How can you do this? Hit Alt on your keyboard and drag it to the third layer. And now we want to work in the video clip of the third layer. Select the video clip, move to your coral space and right up here you're going to select the note. And now we want to mask out the sky, okay? Because we want this text behind this mountain peak. How can you do this? Go to the windows option up here, click on it and then it will open up different mask tools. The first mask tool is a square. So you will basically mask out squares. Uh, we have also circle mask and we have line mask and we have the fourth option. That's what we are going to use that the pen mask. So you can draw a random mask on your video and boom, it will mask out this part of the video. Let me reset this note. And then you have the gradient mask and that is basically you can turn this point and then everything on the left side is masked out or everything on the right side is masked out or on the bottom or top. Let's reset the node again and let's start to mask out the sky with the pen tool. Click on the pen tool and then you want to zoom in into your video. If you click on the video clip, you will see it will make a dot or a circle. If you click on it again, you will draw a line. So now you're going to draw a line around these peaks. And right up here, you see the peak has a curve. How can you fix this? If you hold the mouse button and drag it to the right, it will make a small curve. You see that? Now with these handles, you can make the curve sharper or you can make it more straight and then you can start to work. I will speed up this process because this will take a lot of time. All right, so I'm almost done. And now you want to do the endpoints. You go all the way up here, 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 and you close the mask up here. And now you see we mask out the background. The next thing that you want to do, you want to click on your right and then you want to add an alpha output. That will add this blue circle. You will grab the blue line and you will add it to the circle, so to the alpha output. Go back to the edit page, you will see you deleted the background. And you also see that we did a really precise masking, but it's not that clean. You see that? So we want to manipulate this a little bit how can you do this go back to the color tab then you go back to the window and up here you see softness and we want to add a little bit of softness in here so add softness not too much and you want to also add the inside and a little bit of the outside just a little bit Next thing that you want to do, you want to track this video clip. All right, so now remember that we have a video clip with not that much of a movement. So now it's really easy for DaVinci Resolve to track this video clip. How can you do this? Go to the tracker icon up here, click on it, and then you want to click on this icon and DaVinci Resolve will track the clip forward and backwards. So click on it and you see it went pretty fast because we don't have any movement in the video clip. If you have lots of movement, it will take a lot of time because 
every time you need to change this mask. Let's hit back to the edit page. Now we want to grab the clip that we duplicated and move it under the mask out clip. So now I will show you what you just created so it makes more sense. Select the first clip and if you go to inspector and change the position, you see you masked out the background. So double click on it and it will be back to normal. Then you want to put the title in the middle. Go to effects, click on titles, type in text and then you add your text somewhere here and now you see nothing because you need to increase the size of the text let's say we want to name it Everest I don't know just make something up then increase the size you will see Everest will come up behind the mountain and then pull it all the way up then you can change the font name if you want make it bigger and here you have your text behind the object. If we zoom in close, you see, because we mask this out so precise, it even goes behind these small mountains. And I think the details really matter and I really like this. Now I will show you the second option for DaVinci Resolve Studio. Remember, we want to duplicate it by hitting Alt on our keyboard, drag the other clip to the right, then move this to the third layer and then go to the color workspace. Okay, now things are getting way quicker and way easier. Now we want to start to use the magic mask and we want to mask out this snowboarder. How can you do this? Very simple, select the node, move to your magic mask, click on it and right up here you see magic mask for a person or for object. I would leave it on object. For me, that works the best. Then you see you can choose a plus button and a minus button. So if you hit the plus button, you can start to draw lines on the person or object that you want to mask out in the screen. So let's do that really quick. You see up here, DaVinci Resolve did a fantastic job masking out the snowboarder, but it can always happen that you mask out something that you don't want to mask out. So let me show you. Boom. So now let's say we want to delete this part of the mask. How can you do this? Zoom in, move back to your magic mask, hit the minus button, and then go over the red that you want to delete. You see now the shoes, we want to recover it, okay? Now we want to track this mask. Automatically it will put it on faster, but I would recommend putting it on better. Then you hit this icon, it will track automatically to the front and to the back. Now you're going to this grid and you click on your right, add alpha output. You're going to connect the alpha output. You go to the edit page and right here you see it did a really, really good job. But we want to clean up a little bit of the blacks up here, okay? See that? Go back to your color workspace, select the node, go to your magic mask. Up here you can clean up the blacks. So zoom in a bit, clean up the blacks, increase the radius a tiny little bit. Go back to your edit page. Remember the duplicated clip, grab the duplicated clip and put it under the mask out video clip and then you can put a text between these two clips. I created a title pack if you want, you can always check it out. So let's grab a really cool title, pull it between these clips. You can click on the title and you can change the name to, let's say, Nitro. Let's change the color to the color of the snowboard. So let's pick the screen color, something like this, hit OK. And we want to change this color as well, somewhere like this and pull this all the way to the right. So let's go to the last clip. Now let's do exactly the same. Go to your color tab. This clip has a bit more movement. The guy is walking. So you go to your note, you go to your magic mask tool, and then you hit the plus button. So you draw a line on the object that you want to mask out. 
then you're uh, going to change it to better and you're going to hit this icon to track to the front and to the back. Click on your right, add alpha output, add it to your alpha output, go to the edit page and right here you see we need to clean up the blacks a little bit. So move back to the color workspace, go to your clean black, zoom in, clean black, increase the radius with one, then go back to your edit page, move this one up, grab your clip that you duplicated, pull it under the masked out clip, and then you can decide to make a cool title. So I have one, this one is pretty cool. Change the color of the title, and there you have it. All right, my friends, so I hope you learned something today. If you did, leave something in the comment, or if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, and I will check you out in my next video. Bye-bye.